Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at the dreaded blue screen of death, memory underscore management, and how we can have a quick test with the memory diagnostic tool inside Windows 8 to find out whether the memory has got any problems, okay? Now, sometimes these are very vague. You get like a new hardware or software. It could be a hardware or software issue, and you need to determine which one that is. The stop error code for, for this one is here, as you can see, 0x000 and 0001a. That's the actual stop error code. You can do a search for that in Google, and it will give you a load of information, and uh, it will give you some information like I'm going to tell you right now. So let's go into a Windows 8 machine. Now, if you're having trouble booting to the desktop and you keep getting this flashing up on the screen and rebooting, spontaneous reboots or continuous reboot loops, uh, this is what you... Um, need to check okay so you can go into save mode and maybe you can boot up from there okay so we're at our desktop on our windows 8 machine now if you can't get to the desktop you will need to try to get into safe mode or safe mode networking okay and uh, once you're there you can run this diagnostics tool from there okay uh, but if you're getting uh, shutting down or reboot loop or something like that then what you need to do is try to get to safe mode if you can get to the desktop as I said you can run the memory diagnostic tool from there okay now also you can do this inside Windows uh, 7 and Windows Vista to run their own tool just to get an idea of what's going on with the system now sometimes this is relates to bad memory and you can always do a test with this tool so what you need to do here is you need to come down to the bottom right hand side here, open up the search here, and then as you can see where it says search everywhere, you can type in here memory. Okay, now obviously if you're on a Windows 7 machine, you'll need to go to start button and search and type in there the same thing, and you'll see the memory diagnostics tool there as well. Now here you can see uh, diagnose your computer, you can click on this, and this will open up the memory diagnostic uh, tool. Now what you want to do here is click on this, restart now and check for problems. This is what you want to do, so click on this. Now automatically it will start to scan the system, right? So what you want to do here is type F1. Okay, so once we have the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool Options window open, you can see now we can set it up to the way we want it to scan. So up the top, we've got the test scans that we can run. So you can see by default, I think it's a basic that gets run. And this is the description and tells you what it's actually going to be testing. Again, we can go on to standard and it can do a much more thorough test but bearing in mind the more thorough the test the longer it's going to take okay because it has to include a lot of other stuff to scan okay and again if you go down to extended which is its most advanced scan you can see there's loads of other stuff here that it's going to be scanning for okay so depending on how much time you've got or how long you want to uh, scan it for and how deep you want to go uh, depends on which one you select here now once you've decided on which one you're going to go for you can hit the tab key and this will drag you down to the next area here to allow you to go for default uh, you can also go on or off depending on what you want to do okay again once you've selected what you want you can hit the tab key and then you can see here um, you can see the pass count 0 to 99 and you've got two here you can change this if you wish by just um, going hitting the back key and also changing it to what you want okay and you can see in the description it tells you what it actually does so it sets the total number of times uh, the entire test mix will repeat okay so zero is an infinite amount of times and you can go for three times so you want to do so many passes actually to test your hardware okay to fully test everything and you can choose a, a, a recommended uh, amount here of what you want to do okay um, so that's basically that once you're happy you can push F10 and it will run a scan now this will start to scan your system and scan the memory and also test that okay and find out at the end you will get a status and tell you whether there's any problems have been detected and it will try to fix those if they are software related or any sort of problem there but if it's hardware related it will also list it and then you can order your memory and replace it and that's basically how you can fix this issue you can find out uh, and diagnose the problem okay and this is how you can go about doing that now you can see here running the test pass one of three so you can see this is only 35% uh, complete and the overall test status is 12% 
and uh, we got one of three. So you want to do more than three really to give it a full thorough test. You know, at least eight I would say uh, to give it a full test to find out whether you've got any issues. Okay, and you can always leave this running overnight. So if you want to do more, you can do. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. That's how you can use the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool to diagnose your memory underscore management blue screen of death. Okay, now hopefully it's just going to be a software issue and it can correct it. But if it is an actual hardware issue, it will all be detected here. Okay, and make sure you run the scan for a longer period of time to get a real good thorough result. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed these videos, guys. If you find them useful and they're helpful, then hit the like button and share them with your friends. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. And also, if you've got any questions or, or any video requests or anything like that, then you can head over to my forums and post on there, and I'll do my best to answer your questions for you. Anyway, I'm going to go now, so have a great weekend. Bye for now.